Okay, my babies, I took um, a mental break. I needed some time. My menstrual showed up and kicked my ass. And I just feel like, you know, sometimes with tarot, you need some time, honey. Trust me. It, be, it just be so much spiritual energy. But I'm back, and I'm better than ever. <laughs> so let's do this. Let's do this. All right. So today we are talking about, of course, how these niggas feel about you. So... What are their intentions towards you? We have pal A. We got a, uh, you know, my favorite pen, right? And then we have an actual pen, a red pen. Then we have a black marker. Pick the pal that best resonates with your energy. I want you to go with your first mind because your first mind is your best mind, okay? I have readings on my website that... Uh, Personal readings on my website actually have a lot of slots open for this week. So if you guys are interested, um, let me know. <laughs> I Instagram, TikTok, all that beautiful stuff. Let's get started. Let's get started. Hello, Power One. How are you beautiful people doing? Okay, so I haven't done this in a long time and I, I, I kind of forgot. <laughs> I kind of forgot. So what's, what's the question today, Spirit? What's their intentions? All right. So what's the question for this? How do they feel this is the wrong deck then? How do they feel? Is it emotion or saying? Which one should I do? This one? All right, all right, all right. Y'all know that it is becoming summertime. And for the ones who know me, know me. I, bitch, I'm hot. <laughs> I'm hot. I'm always fucking hot. <laughs> Uh, whatever. I'm gonna have to just be topless when I do readings and when I be in the house because I'm hot. So, how do they feel? How do they feel on the inside about you? How do they feel? They want you. They want you. That's sa that's simple. That they want you. That's real fucking simple. <laughs> <laughs> do I need to clarify? Oh, I do because I split the deck and it says I need space and I talk about you. I tell people that I love you and I'm taking my time and I, I want to commit to you and I'm sorry for hurting you. We just need a little bit break. I miss you. I want to hold you. I'm very sexually attracted to you. I just have a lot of issues, but I do want to commit. Okay. Um, Let's clarify. Let's clarify. And I can't have my fan on because it's going to be too loud for y'all. And y'all going to be like, I can't hear. So, I, I need for you to hear me. Okay, I need for you to hear me. So, I'm so attracted. Hmm. I have feelings. Hmm. I told you. You mean the world. <laughs> Let's get back together. Give me two cards of advice, please. Wrong deck. Okay. This one? No. Okay. Tarot? Yes. Okay. All righty. All righty. All righty. There's a little You are the empress. Defend that shit. Even if you can't see in the dark and you feel like you don't know what's next in the situation, you don't know what's going to happen, understand one thing. I want to tell you one thing, all right? I want you to listen to me <clears throat> when I talk to you because I don't talk for my health. I'd rather be quiet. <laughs> understand that you are the empress. Regardless if you are a man or a woman, I don't care. You have this energy of elevation, this energy of importance. You are somebody important, okay? You are important, okay? You are very important and understand that never, ever give away your power because you are made, you are one of a kind and God made you for a reason. Understand that, okay? Secondly, defend that shit. Defend the fact that you are the empress. Defend the fact that you can create the reality that you want because Spirit says, now is the time for you to rewrite your life story. What do you want? What you want from this person? I'm sorry, if I come out very aggressive, I've been around people who are very, very aggressive lately. So my energy is like, bitch, listen. <laughs> Let 
please forgive me. <laughs> if I come off too aggressive, I just, I've been with a whole bunch of niggas. So, <clears throat> Right now is just the time for you to understand that you are the creator of your reality and everything that you want, you will manifest, especially with this energy and this person. You can have it with this person. Spirit says, even when you can't see through the dark, even when you don't know exactly what's going on, understand. I want you to understand that you are being led. Regardless. That's your advice. Now, your man or your woman wants you. Write down how you want this love to be. Pray for how you want this love to be. How your person feels about you. What's their intentions to be back in your life? How do I, How else do I say this? I mean, I'm not the tarot reader that's going to go on and on and on and on and on. No. Why? For what? So I can waste your time? I don't even watch tarot readers that are that long. Because, like, get to it. <laughs> get to it. Hurry up. So... I'm in the energy of feeling like this person's in the energy of having attraction to you. So that means that they want you because it's like, let's get back together. I'm sorry. Like, th I think this person is even probably like sad, sad about the separation, feeling lost. So they want to come around and build growth with you. They want to date you. They enjoy you. They want to be in your energy. They want to have peace with you. So right now, I'm going to say it again. And I'm going to say it a little bit harsher than I normally would because I just feel like <clears throat> whoever is meant to hear this will understand my energy and where I'm coming from. You are the fucking empress. Nobody can take that away from you. You are the creator of your reality. Nobody can take that away from you. Okay? So if you want this person, tell God what you want. Talk to him. Be like, I want this motherfucker to act right. I, I want us to be back to where we used to be or whatever, right? So I hope I'm not being too harsh. <laughs> I hope I'm not being too mean. But I do want you to understand, and I'm trying to get it through your head, that your person's intentions are to come around and act right. But your intentions should be to manifest how you want them to act right. Okay? So should I say anything else, Spirit? Let's let's do a what's next. Let's see what's next. Let's see what's next. What's next? What is next between these two? Which I can already tell you because it's clearly on the board. <laughs> but let's let's do a what's next. So what's next? Yep. What you talking about? Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Now, when you guys enter into this union, not this, I don't want to say it's a union, but when you guys come back around to each other, it's going to be the energy of growth. It's going to be the energy of working on it. It's going to be the energy of ascension. Things will go to the next level. But when you guys first get back together, start off as friends. This person is not going to want to get back into a relationship with you right away. Create that playfulness to recapture this love. Okay? Have, the, have this person be your friend first and your lover second. Right? That's your advice. That's what's happening next. Friendship. 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 But this person loves you. They adore you. They want to be next to you. Goddesses, my beautiful goddesses. Give me one card to tell me. Talk to me. Talk to me, goddesses. Talk to me. Secrets revealed. Hmm. Okay. I've never seen this card. It's a pretty ass card, ain't it? This is like one of my favorites because the imagery is gorgeous, honey. It's gorgeous. Bitch, I'm high. I'm take on my shirt. In the Bible, the wealthy queen Sheba was a gift of King Solomon. Book revealed she was a queen. And together they see it. Okay. Okay. Open your eyes, right? Look, because you are a queen or a king, whomever you are, regardless of gender. Open your eyes. Secrets aren't going to be revealed. It is safe for you to see the truth. Your inner vision is crystal clear. So... You don't know what you you don't know what you don't know. Your creator, your ancestors, angels, spirits, ascension, masters, 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 bitch, masters. I'm sorry, I'm trying to say the word. Masters are whispering to you. Hmm. You fucking right. 
I'm so I'm sorry I'm so sorry for my um my cursing. Like I'm telling you, when I've been around I've been around niggas, okay? Like, like <laughs> it, it's bad. It's bad. Okay, so I'm trying to like, you know, be my own camera self. Um, but honestly, truthfully, Spirit says now is the time for you to choose your path. And we were just talking about now is the time for you to manifest. We were just saying that you are the Empress. Everything is lining up. Manifest what you want. Spirit says that we are delivering intelligent messages for this situation. So you know. And now that you have this video, this is confirmation that you know. <laughs> Create your reality and stop whining. Create your reality and build a future for yourself. Create your reality and you will be happy and at peace at the end of the night. Don't cry over a situation. Create what you want. Use those tears for something productive. Use their heartbreak or whatever for something productive. Because Spirit says you can have what you want from this situation. What do you want? That is your homework for tonight. You know, I always give y'all homework. So that is your homework. I'm going to need for you to write in the comment section, what do you want? What do you want? Okay? I love you guys very, very much. I didn't mean to be harsh. But I'm just telling you, I'm trying to shake that. Shake that. <laughs> I'm trying to shake it <laughs> Because I got to be two different people. <laughs> so, um, if you love me, you know me. I want y'all to be blessed and not stressed. And figure out what you want. Okay? It's most important right now. I love you guys. Stay beautiful and I'll talk to you in the next one. Hi, pal too. How are you beautiful people doing today, today, today? Um, we're talking about what's their intentions and overall next move, love and stuff like that. So, um, how should we start? What do they want from you? Mm, that's powerful. That deck? I haven't used this deck in a long time. Let's see. What do they want? This person thinks about you a lot. They think about the stability that they can have with you. They think about the love that they have for you. It's something obsessive. And because when you think about it, the four the four of wands is all about stability. Four, if it creates four, you know, it takes four walls to create a home, right? And that is your stability. You know, you are protected against the, the elements, right? It's yours, right? The Eight of Swords is a card of obsession, uh, an obsession that you can get over, but you choose not to. So what your person wants, honestly, it don't seem like they take an action just from these two cards. It's more in their mind about how they want to create some type of stable future for you, with you. Let's say that, with you, not for you, with you. But it's so many different possibilities. Okay. Um. They want happiness. They want a connection. You know what I mean? They want a connection. This cute. This cute or whatever. This cute or whatever. You know, one thing I've learned, especially when I pull my cards, I always go back through my deck and look at my cards. I always go back. I always go back. Because it can definitely tell me if like the the relationship is going to be on and off because it will go from break up to get back together break up to get back together so let's see your person feels lonely and they think about you You're going to be receiving a message from them soon. Something about where they want to go. It's like, I think they're going to tell you exactly where... Mm. They're going to tell you exactly how they feel. <laughs> and when they where they want to go with you. Where they want this relationship to lead. You probably haven't heard from this person. You guys have probably been in hermit mode. 
and I feel like in this hermit mode, this person has gained some type of uh, some type of um, obsession. <laughs> so now they're here to deliver messages. You know what I mean? They're here to deliver some messages to you. Because they feel like you are someone of important. They feel like you can be someone that's a, a grounding energy for them. But patience. Patience, baby. Patience is a virtue, honey. It's, it's just a fucking virtue. God damn it. I hate it. <laughs> fucking hate being patient. But the person that you are inquiring about is going to come around and give you that clarity, that understanding that you need. And then that, that and then that's when it's going to be uh, like mutual understanding it is going to be you guys working better together it's like i wish you would stop calling me it's going to be like a mutual understanding it's going to be like teamwork make the dream work you know what i'm saying not giving up on shit i'm sorry i've been around some people i can't i gotta watch my mouth <laughs> uh building strength on a foundation Understanding that you guys probably are probably, you know, have some type of soulmate tie and that can cause a lot of chaos. It can cause a lot of fucking chaos, a lot of chaos. But Spirit says be hopeful with this situation. All right. So what I'm seeing so far, this is the type of energy where <clears throat> I don't know what y'all been through. Actually, I can, I can ask. <laughs> but it, it just seems like soon well it said patience so i don't know how soon it's gonna be but i do feel like a conversation is coming towards you now action as far as like committing to that conversation i think patience like this relationship is going to need patience but i do feel like this person has something to say yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, break up separation, needing to stop the patterns, probably silent treatment. It did say that some of you guys are in hermit mode. But like I also said, this person thinks about you a lot. They missing on you. They missing on you. And you guys will be talking again. Back in each other's world. That's what it's saying. Because I said before, you guys have some type of soul soul contract so you guys are not done your contract is not over somebody has trust issues though somebody has trust issues and that makes them like need time apart but this person wants to talk to you this person wants to conversate with you this person wants to be in your energy they definitely want to be inside of you if you're a girl if you're a boy too look look do what you do <laughs> enjoy yourself but it seems like either you trigger this or y'all probably just trigger each other. Y'all probably trigger each other, honestly. And it's like things that you guys need. I, I, look, I put my phone on vibrate and I still get calls and texts and it still be loud. It's, it's the thing for me. It just seems like. If you try to see this relationship from a different perspective, if you try to truly, like, it, it's something about your minds that need to change. Maybe y'all need to let some shit go, you know? Because what you think about and how you, that, <laughs> look, not letting go, hanging on to the past, hurt and trust issues. I just said it's something that y'all need to let go. Because it says that it's influencing y'all situation. The, it's impacting y'all relationship. So I don't know if it's you and I don't know if it's them. But somebody needs to let some shit go so that things can move forward. Keep a positive mindset and manifest what you want. Okay? Because the grass ain't always greener on the other side. <laughs> it ain't always greener. Stay out of toxic thinking. Stay out of toxic behavior. Stay out of toxic energy. Because that is going to create your reality. It says that your person is going to mirror whatever energy you give to them. Right? So, don't be not genuine. If you want this person, want this person. 
be who you truly are because there is a connection here but at the end of the day like don't hatch your feelings change your mind frame be you know if you want good energy be good energy but never compromise on your morals. Don't give this person more than you should. Look, I'm pointing, I'm pointing at you, whoever is watching this. Don't you give this motherfucker more than you should, okay? Love yourself enough to only accept the best. So, I always tell people, right? And I tell this to myself. It's not about how people treat you. It's about how you treat people, right? It's not about what energy they give to you. Because I can tell you one thing, and I have noticed this lately. If you come at people on some rah-rah shit and fuck you, nigga, you ain't shit. And, you know, trying to fight and stuff like that. That's the energy you're going to get back. But if you come up to someone and be like, look, this is what's going on with us. And I feel like we need to talk. You know, be calm. Give them the energy that you will want to get. But it's a lot of stuff that you guys need to release in order for this relationship to truly be something that's going to work. Because it's saying that you guys are in some outdated thinking. Like shit is going over your head. Like you're replaying things that you shouldn't. Right? Look, somebody say amen in the background. Somebody, look, somebody agree with me. I just feel like there will be a reconciliation. Okay, some type of renewal energy. And it's going to happen out of nowhere. It's going to happen out of nowhere. You're not going to be expecting it. But truly be a good person. Send this person. If you want this person, send this person good energy and you will get good energy back. Don't be toxic. Don't be toxic. You can't be toxic in this. Learn from your past and make new memories. So, I hope I wasn't too harsh. I've been kind of harsh lately on people. But sometimes people need to be cussed the fuck out. I'm just going to be honest. Okay? We all been there. Okay, Google. 10, 10, angel number. Love. Oh, shit. No, okay, no, I'm good. No. 10, 10, angel number. Love. You ain't going to read it to me? You ain't going to read it to me? Okay. People often see the number as an indication that something positive is going to happen or that you are on the right track. Remember that this is a reminder of the fact that you are never alone and it, and this is associated with unconditional love, joy, abundance, purity, and happiness. Okay? So Spirit says that you are on the right track. Don't question yourself. If this person's in your life, they're in your life for a reason. Y'all still have a contract. So might as well be nice because this person ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Not until y'all done. So let me know what you think about this, my loves. I want y'all to stay beautiful, blessed, not stressed. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Hi, Bell 3. How are my beautiful people doing today? Y'all miss me? <laughs> Did you miss me? All right. For some reason, I want to grab these cards right now so we got something to say. The goddesses have something to say. So what does Pal 3 need to know? What does Pal 3 need to know? Mm. 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 Okay. Um. Queen never Tate. Hey, that's right. She's one of my favorites. I never seen you before, so we gonna look you up. But the other three I've seen before, definitely. All right. Well, we at thirty eight. We got some messages for you from the queen herself. Okay. Uh, Nefertiti was a legendary Egyptian queen. Her name means a beautiful, a beauty has come. <laughs> I like that. Celebrate as a goddess and her husband equally. She led a spiritual revolution. Worshipping a sun god. It is time. It is your turn. Oh, you turn everything that life throws your way into gold. They're saying that you are on the path to fulfilling your purpose. Okay? Mm. It says you have the power to bend universal energy. Ooh, hey, I like this. Okay, <laughs> give me a little excited. Okay, 
Because it's saying that you have the power to be in the universal energy. You are an alchemist, right? It says dare to be able to shift energy. Dare to be able to shift fear to love. Spirit says whatever you give out, we're going to match. So dare to match our energy, okay? Match that frequency. Whatever you want, match that frequency. So if you are saying like, man, I want a man. I want a wife. I want somebody next to me. I want somebody here. What you doing to get that? What type of energy are you putting out? Are you saying, fuck these niggas, these niggas ain't shit, let's not have a hot girl summer? What are you, like, what's your energy? Are you cleaning your house? Are you making room in your house, making room in your heart? Are you still talking to your ex? Like, what are you doing to match this energy? Because Spirit says that you have the ability to bend, bend the universe to you. <laughs> like, you can have whatever. And then the funny thing about it is right above it is the card of manifestation. You see this rain? That's your blessings. You see this rain? Let me show you something. Let me show you something. You see this rain? That's what God is going to pour on you. Blessings. That's all the blessings that God is going to give you. Manifest what you want. Spirit says that you can have whatever you desire. Spirit says if it's look, this, you know, because she's my favorite. <laughs> she got two husbands. <laughs> So if you want two husbands, because there's a lot of people out there that's poly, if you want two husbands, ask for that. You want two wives, ask for that. If you want to just get a man or a woman with some good pussy and some good dick, ask for that. Whatever you want, because it's the card of lust, so it's sexual, you know. <laughs> but Spirit says, don't be resistant. I am telling you this for a purpose, for a reason. I have no idea because I'm not finished with your reading, but <laughs> you got the energy of manifestation, the energy of creation. Spirit says that they bend to you. God bends to you. Well, I wouldn't say God. Probably God. When you bend to them. He said he bends to all the creatures that he loves. Okay. God says he loves you. God told me to come to me as if he was my daddy. My father. So I'll be like daddy this is what I want. Alright. Look I'm tired of preaching. Let's go to the reading. <laughs> Let's go to the reading. What's the, what's the question? So this is not their intentions? We gonna get that. So what's the question again? This day? How many problems they got? A lot. F your ass and not and not. Okay, not this one. This one. All right, all right, all right. What do they need to know about this situation? What does Pal 3 need to know about this situation? What does Pal 3 need to know about this situation? Spirit says that you need to decide on what you really truly want. Decide what you really want. Clarify family because that can mean so many things. If that is what you want, you want a family, you want a husband, you want kids, you want a wife, you want kids, you want whoever you and kids. I'm sorry if I don't get y'all genders right. Um, it's not that I'm being mean. It's just to be so much shit out there. Like, I don't have time to be sitting back and trying to figure out everybody's gender. Whoever you are, you are accepted. Okay? Whoever you are, you are accepted. At least accepted by me. I can care less what you do in your bedroom. But make sure it's freaky. You know what I'm saying? Have a good time. Okay, but anyway, Spirit says that you need to have faith that all will be well. And that new opportunities are coming towards you. I don't get the energy of a relationship here or even like a person because they're not really talking about it. So if you probably have come here, of course you've come here to ask about somebody. They don't want to talk about them. They want to talk about you. <laughs> because I think they're saying that you're kind of unfocused right now. 
So deciding on what you truly want and having faith that I will be well will create unexpected changes in your life. If you want this stability, this this family, this love, this union, whatever you want, make sure that it's something that you really truly want and you're going after it. Don't say you want it one day but then act in a, another type of way the next. That that won't work. Spirit says that marriage could be something that you want. Like I, I told you, God says that he's going to bend to your will, whatever you want. Look, daddy, I want marriage, okay? Send me send me a good man, okay? But don't have the energy of re repressed emotions. Because Spirit says that you will find or you will have someone who's going to marry you. You're going to have success. Because there's two different cards in this deck that has to do with career. And whatever, you know, whenever I ask about love and I see the card success, that means that you will have success in whatever this family, this marriage that you're looking for. So make sure that this is something that you want and stay focused. Have faith. Never deny yourself. And I'm going to tell you one thing. If you ever tell me that you feel like you don't deserve a man and that you are not worthy of marriage, I'm going to agree with you. Because you know why? God is going to agree with you. And you won't get shit. But if you're the type of person that's like, oh, my husband's coming towards me. Look, baby, I'm having kids. Money's good. Life is good. I'm going to agree with you. And so is God. And then you're going to look up and be like, damn, life is good. So watch what you say. Stay focused. I don't really have. And then summertime is probably when you're going to meet someone, meet this person that you might get into a marriage with, right? Um, this is not really about their intentions. This is more of your intention. What is your intention? Spirit says that movement will happen. Things will happen. You will feel like you have a place in this world. All your look, your answers are going to arrive in summer. So if this is about a person that you're in a relationship with, you're going to get some type of answers in the summertime. Well, honestly, I don't feel like this is like. Let me drink my let me drink my coffee. My eyes started getting pretty low when I was saying this. So let me drink this coffee. I'm sorry. Give me a second. All right. Do you have anything to say? Because I feel like you have something to say. I'm sorry, y'all. I got that that song, you know, a lot. <laughs> but uh, 20 months, 21 Savage. I got that song in my head, stuck in my Oh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. I got it. I got it. Yes. Okay. Let me get two more. Three more. Mmm. We like to see that. Mmm. We love to see that. You fucking right. All right. I'm going to sum this up because this is very, very easy to understand. This is what we've been talking about this whole reading. And I want you to get this through your head because you are smart. You wouldn't be watching me if you was a dumb, a dumb one, okay? So you're going to get this. You're going to get this very easy. Manifest what you want. It's a part of your destiny. Marriage, relationships, happiness is a part of your destiny. Spirit says that if you stay loyal to what you want, you will have it. Spirit says that, that we are going to open doors for you, that we're going to create possibilities for you. But if you stay disciplined and you stay focused and you stay responsible of yourself, you will have everything. Everything. It just started raining. So if y'all hear the rain, it's, it's raining. <laughs> Spirit says that I am trying, look, look, explains. I am trying to explain to you that I, I don't know your situation because it didn't tell me anything about it. It just says that you want a family and you want marriage and you want stability and structure. That is a part of your destiny. So if you ever come to me and tell me that you don't deserve it, I'm going to agree with you. You're right, you don't. Because why would I, if I was God, I'd be like, why would I give somebody something that they feel like they don't even deserve? 
But if you came to me and like, look, queen, I agree with you, sis. My husband coming towards me, my family coming towards me. Or if you come to me as a male, you know, my wife coming towards me, my kids is coming towards me. That structure that I want, that happiness, that partnership, that collaboration of souls is coming towards me. I'm going to agree with you. And I'm going to give you a standing ovation and tell you that God agrees with you as well. So stay focused. That's all I really got to say to you is just to stay focused. Honestly. Be disciplined. Be grounded. You got this. Spirit says, God said that he would bend to your will. Do you understand? Like, I'm going to get off. I'm going to get off. I'm going to stop preaching. But I just want you to understand who God is. If you understand truly who God is, and he just told you that he would bend to your will and give you whatever you want, you should never, ever question yourself. She, God tell me that he gonna bend to my will. Okay, daddy, look, this is what I want. Can you send me this, 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 and this? But whatever you want, you have to be a reflection of what you want. You gotta be a reflection of what you want. Okay, man, look, it even says it in this card, and I'm get off. I know I'm preaching to you, but look, manifest, mirror, you're mirroring what you want. So if you keep on getting fuck boys or women that's loose and women that ain't giving you what you need, it's because you are a reflection of what you want. Be conscious, be conscious, be conscious, be conscious. Look, during my week off, I got a little bit more spiritual soul. <laughs> Don't judge me. I just want y'all to want better. Like, if Spirit's preaching to me, I'm going to preach to you. If Spirit's telling me this shit, I'm going to tell you because you have been led to me for a reason. You are watching this for a reason. And I'm going to always amp you up. I'm going to always amp you up and tell you everything, okay? I'm going to tell you that you can have whatever you want. Never limit yourself. Always be better. I want so much better for you. So, because baby, I got some testimonies and this, look, it worked for me. I got exactly what I want. I asked for three things and I got everything. Okay, even look, it blew my fucking mind how good it was. So, when I tell you that you can manifest your future and uh, be happy in your reality that's coming towards you, believe me when I tell you that you're going to have the world. All right, be blessed and not stressed. Stay beautiful and be good people. I'll talk to you on the next one.